Hello there! For this video presentation, we are going to go over a guide on processing AVT electronic fund transfer payments through NetSuite. This is going to be the flow of our module. First, we will go over the overview of the AVT EFT payment on NetSuite. Then, we'll check the bank register setup, a simple overview on how bank registers are done through this module, check how suppliers are set up for EFT payment, how bills are paid through EFT, and run EFT for vendor payments. Let's start with the AVT EFT payment overview. Once the AVT payment bundle is installed, it will appear as a tab in NetSuite. I'm going to show you that when we get into NetSuite. In case the tab does not appear on the menu, I'm going to show you how we can customize it and make it appear as a center or menu tab. Now, let's go ahead and log on to NetSuite. Once you have already installed the AVT Payments Bundle, it'll automatically appear on the menu here. If it doesn't, what you need to do is go to Customization, Centers and Tabs, Center Tabs, click on this one, and look for AVT Payments. Click Edit. The label should be AVT Payments. And as for the center, it should say All. All right, hit Save. And hit Home. At times, it may take a while to appear. You may want to click Reload or Refresh or log out and then log back in. Now, let's move on to bank register setup. This is where we enter the bank details, and if we need to use more than one bank account, then we need to create a separate record for that bank account as well. Please take note that all fields are mandatory. Now, let's go to NetSuite. Let's go to AVT Payments, Setup, Bank Register Settings. The pre-existing company bank details that are associated to AVT EFT are listed here. To view an existing company bank details, let's click View. As mentioned before, all the fields here are mandatory. To create a new one, let me just go back to the list. And you can see this button here, New AVT EFT Company Bank Details. Let's click on that. So this is how a new AVT EFT Company Bank Details form looks like. Let me just go to this pre-filled Company Bank Details form. So we enter the name here. And for consistency's sake, I'm keeping the same name here. The financial institution abbreviation, your user number, the file user, the BSB number or bank statement branch number, the account number, our remitter, the bank account of course, you can select it from here, whichever bank account you would want to choose to be associated for EFT, the clearing account, the Accounts Payable account and the Accounts Receivable account. Let's go ahead and save this. On our AVT EFT Company Bank Details list, we now have the Company Bank Detail that we have just created, which is AVT-ANZ Checking Account. Now that we are familiar with the bank register setup, let us now move on to Supplier Setup for EFT Payment. So on a supplier's record, these are the fields that we need to fill in. Number one is pay via EFT. So this is something that needs to be ticked. Number two is the bank account name of the vendor. Then the bank account number of the vendor. We also need to enter the BSB number of the vendor. This is to be separated by a hyphen. For example, 123-456. Now, let us go into NetSuite and let me demonstrate that to you. 
So we go to a vendor record to enable EFT. What this does is to simply enable payments to this vendor to be processed through EFT. We have Zen Systems as our example. Let's hit Edit Mode. And let's go to the Financial tab. Scroll down to Vendor Bill Matching. Now let me just move to the next tab as I have pre-filled this section. As mentioned, we need to fill in the BSB number, the bank account name, the bank account number, and tick Pay via EFT. Now you may enter the vendor EFT reference if needed. Let's go ahead and save this. It is also important to note that the vendor must have an email address on its record. Now that we know how to set up suppliers for EFT payment, let us now move on to paying bills through EFT. Now, as for paying supplier invoices, please take note that only suppliers or vendors whose EFT functionality is enabled will be payable through EFT. Once we get there, we will tag the bills that we will pay, or if we intend to pay partially, then we would have to change the amount, and then we go ahead and hit save. The total of the whole batch payment will automatically be added as we tag the bills that we want to pay. To demonstrate that, let's go to NetSuite. Let's go to AVT Payments, EFT Runs, Pay Bills. Now this is the bill payments form. You select the accounts payable, the account where you will be paying the bills from, so we will have to choose ANC Checking. This is the balance of the ANC Checking and it's reflected here. The date, which is most likely today. The posting period, which is April or this month. These fields are not mandatory, so we can leave them out. When we scroll down, Notice that Zen Systems is among the payable vendors that is shown on our EFT payments here, or bills to be paid through EFT. Let us select the bills that we need to pay. Let's go for Zen Systems. So this, this, and for this, let's say we want to partially pay it. So instead, of 13,200, we just want to pay 5,000. Overwrite 13,200 there, and let's partially pay 5,000. We can also pay other vendors on the list. So let's say we want to pay Woodpecker Surfboards. Let's tick two. What about Take Me With You? Sugar Free World, Raw Cakes, and that's it for now. Then let's go ahead and save it. On the Process Bills payment, you will see the status says Not Started, Not Started for all the vendors. Let's click Refresh. And after some time, the status says complete. Numbers under the numbers column are the check numbers. Let's click on Zen Systems for example. So here are the bill payments that we've paid for Zen Systems. Let's check this bill. We intended to pay just 5,000 instead of the original amount of 13,200. The status says it's still open because we have not paid 13,200 in full.
compared to this bill wherein it says paid in full. To go to the processed bill payment status, you just have to go to AVT payments, EFT runs, pay bills, status. And for this, 1011, it says complete. And again, you will be brought to the page of the processed bill payments. Status complete. Now that we've learned how to pay bills through EFT, let us now move on to vendor payment EFT run. So for here, we select the dates to select a list of bill payments. We click mark all to select all vendor bill payments. Please take note that only the bills that have been approved for payment will be shown in the list. We will enter a reference for the ABA file and the name of user supplying the file in the bank fields. After which, we will receive an EFT file on our mailbox, which we can later then upload online to pay the vendors. Now, Let's go to NetSuite and let's see how this works. Let's go to AVT Payments, EFT Runs, EFT Paid Bills. So from here, we select the start and the end dates so we can proceed to select the bill payments within this period. So let me just start on the 20th and down to today. Let's go ahead and hit Submit. Alright, our enter date is going to be April 22nd. Let's choose the EFT account here. So let's choose AVT-ANZ Checking Account. Let's enter the reference that we want to appear on the ABA file. So let's say EFT 20 to 4, and maybe we want to add 15. Enter the name of the user supplying the file, so that's going to be me. Alright, for here, we may tick mark all if you want to run them all, or we may select them one by one. So let's just say we want to tick mark all. From here, let's go ahead and hit submit. Now, it says here that we tick off the payments to send the remittance notification. Please note that the supplier will get an email confirmation of the payment. So, we can hit mark all again and hit submit. Leave this page. At this point, I should be expecting a file to be sent on my mailbox. On my mailbox, I have just received six mails related to the EFT process that we have just done. So exactly at 4.40 p.m. Let's go ahead and open this one. So I'm just opening it in a new tab. So this is the EFT ABA file. So this is the file that you will have to upload online. And this is the reference or the ad payment advice reference that will be sent to your vendors or to your suppliers. So it's going to look like this. Back in NetSuite, you will find these ABA files through AVT Payments, Setup, Payment Run Logs. And 
Here you go. The payment that we have just processed today is here. At this point, you are now able to know how to run the vendor payments through EFT and that our very main goal here is for us to be able to receive the EFT file, the one with the .aba extension in our mailbox because this is the file that we need to upload in our online banking to pay the vendors. Now, let's go ahead and check what we learned. So, we went over the simple AVT EFT payment overview. We learned how to register a new bank. We learned how to set up suppliers for EFT payment. We learned how to pay bills through EFT. And we learned how to run vendor payments through EFT. This ends our AVT EFT payments module. If you have any questions, please contact us on the following information or you may visit us at www.avtapps.com or send us an email through info at abvt.com.au. Once again, thank you for joining me.